Are you totally comfortable? You've been around a while with this idea from Keir uh, and Rachel that that, that that price cap, the average maximum that households can pay in the United Kingdom should be frozen, even if it's going to cost 50 billion a year, nearly 100 billion over two years. Are you totally confident that that is the best way forward from a Labour perspective? Well, um, the plan that they put forward is to freeze prices until April next year, and it's going to cost £29 billion, and it's going to be funded through uh, a, a windfall tax on the gas producers in the North Sea. Um, I suppose if I had any quibble, it would be the fact that very wealthy people are going to get the support as well. But actually, we are talking about a quite a small group of people because I believe the size of increases we are about to see in energy bills will affect people quite high up uh, the income scale. To be in the top 20 percent of earners in this country, you have to be on £63,000 or above. And I think there's a lot of people out there on that money who, when they pay their mortgage and they pay their childcare, they don't feel that rich. Hmm. Uh, fascinating. And, and, and indeed, the current Chancellor of the Exchequer, Nadim Zawi, made several of those points when he spoke the day before yesterday about the need to help people on 45 grand a year. You've gone even a little bit higher. So, you know, as it were, we are genuinely all in it together right across the spectrum. How do you deal, though, as a leading uh, Labour figure, uh, I mean, not least in London, where you, you were chair for a long time, uh, but still in there, in the fight and in the mix, when your enemies say, there they go again, bottomless pit of borrowing, chuck, I take your point about 29, 30 billion over a quarter, but therefore, if it was a year, then it would be the kind of numbers that I talk. But there you go again, borrow billions to sort it out, cap the price, doesn't do anything about the supply side, uh, it, and then if it comes to it, if the worst comes to it, nationalise it again. I thought you'd left all of that behind you. Well, I don't think there's anybody, any party, who is not going to be in it to spending money over the next six months. It's how you spend that money. And we think it's about pegging prices uh, for everybody and not just offering that support um, to people who already have a great deal. Um, and you're absolutely right. It's not just about the short term. You know, we've got to be insulating homes. In 2013, David Cameron just slash money to insulate our homes. Two million families would be in better insulated homes if that hadn't happened. In 2015, he slashed the regulations about requiring that new homes go up to, um, you know, have a lot of insulation. And we could have those homes that we didn't have to worry about people and sure. how they met the bill. So you're right. It's a short term yeah. and a long term solution. But right. right now, what are people going to do when they get those bills?